Climbing in League of Legends requires three things. Mechanics, decision making, and a winning mentality. I've personally spent years playing this game being held back from reaching higher elo, being hard stuck for a season in silver because I approached the game with a poor mindset. After taking a break and refreshing my mental, I was able to see the game in a very different light and started climbing really quickly, hitting challenger rank two seasons later. If you don't know what's holding you back from climbing, this may be the missing piece, so stick around. Learning how to master your role, becoming better at decision making, improving your mechanics, knowledge, etc. is all excellent and will gain you LP. However, these skills only truly work when you have a clear mind and your decision making is unaffected by other factors. Have you ever answered most of the questions we asked throughout our guides correctly, but you struggle to climb? That's often because you have the knowledge and skills required to climb further, but you're potentially held back by a weak mental approach to the game. And while this guide is great for any role, let's be honest. As a jungler, our mental is always under attack from our teammates as they spam ping for you to gank every lane, all while expecting you to somehow secure every objective at the same time, which can easily break the mental of most players very quickly. We're going to teach you how to seriously improve your mental game so you can stop being held back like I was and start expressing your true skills on Summoner's Rift, unhindered by emotional decisions. So let's get started. My absolute favorite saying in League has become, play the game you're playing not the game you wish you were. To really understand what this means, let's look at an example from a gold subscriber's coaching session. Rengar has had a pretty rough early game at this point and starts farming his Krugs. Seeing Udyr on the map here, he pings his bot lane and keeps his camera on himself. Once his AD dies, he expressed verbal annoyance to me, something along the lines of, I pinged, why did they int? Here's where we need to shift our mindset. Did our bot lane int? Absolutely. The wave was coming back into them and we knew that Udyr was bot side. The issue is that we expect our teammates to have the same level of knowledge and competency, so we just envision the play going a certain way, just like it does in our head. Perhaps Jin and Bard just back up and wait for the wave to come to them, that definitely would work. However, once we ping, our job isn't done. Pinging only encourages a different outcome, it doesn't actually change what's going on. Once you ping, you have to accept reality. If they aren't actually backing up, your pings did nothing, and this is where the all-powerful saying, play the game you're playing, not the game you wish you were, comes in. We view ourselves as the better player, so we should acknowledge the level of control we do have in this situation, and not rely on our teammates to conform to our ideologies. Getting 5 people to agree on anything is really hard. Now imagine getting 5 people to agree without speaking. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So since we are the only trustworthy player on our team, we should try to figure out a solution in line with reality. If they're pushing here, our only real play is to counter the gank, or just accept that they're dying and look for the next proactive thing to do. Looking at how this played out, it definitely would have been at least one free kill, or we could have prevented a fight completely. We can't rely on untrustworthy players to adapt to us, but we can adapt to them. To elaborate on this more, it's important to understand what tilt is and what causes it. Rengar was clearly frustrated, as most people probably would be here, but why? The issue lies with a lack of control. It's human nature to want to have control over a situation. It's why you'll get more nervous in the passenger seat of a car rather than if you're driving, and why you'll feel better if you know exactly what's going to happen next. Watching a horror movie the second time isn't nearly as scary if you know what to expect. Everyone knows the feeling of an easy game. All lanes are winning, and the game feels like it flies by. You are fully immersed start to finish. When games like this happen, your expected reality and actual reality never differs. The problem is when it does. So we fix this by changing our expected reality to not be as rigid as it was before. When you're prepared for things outside of your control to be random, you don't get nearly as annoyed, and your immersion bubble never gets popped. When we understand why we get tilted, it's easier to calm down and think rationally immediately. We would avoid bad plays like what happens after Jin dies due to our clouded judgment. After all, if we ping bot lane because of Udyr, then walk right into him to die, it's not that Rengar lacked the skill to predict Udyr, it's that the frustration ruined the expression of said skill. When things happen that are completely out of our hands, there's no use getting frustrated, but it happens all too often. Just think about if there was anything within your control that you could change. The main issue is when your ego gets in the way. My way or the highway is a common mentality. When people don't listen to pings, we often feel ignored, because we knew how obvious the right play was in our head. You can't have five different ideas play out and somehow align with each other. Someone is going to have to compromise, and that person needs to be you if you want to win. Ping when you want to try to get something to happen, but accept reality when it comes along. The most valuable skill that any jungler can learn is how to adapt. If you have an answer to all potential situations, you aren't going to be rigid in your thought process, and can easily switch gears no matter the game state. Let's go over the very beginning of this game as well for another example. If we asked what your game plan is for the beginning of this game, what would you say?
I started this session by asking what Rangard's game plan was, and he responded with buff buff gromp to top gank, because Chen was important to get ahead. If he said something similar to this, here are some things to consider. Junglers often cite reasons for pathing as, this is just the best path for my champion, I get the best leash starting bot side, or this gets me to top the fastest. However, when we think about game plans like this, it's important to consider ideals but also other options should your plan fail. For example, thinking about your plan as if you'd want to go top is fine, but don't lock yourself in to just that. Path in a way that gives you a lot of options and doesn't all in on one thing. A vast majority of players think like this. Instead of phrasing their plan with more variability, like, if Udyr starts bot, I'll do red blue gromp and then see what's available. I can also gank top or clear back down to the bottom crab since Udyr beats me in the 1v1. If he starts top side, I can do a slower clear since I won't have to rely on the faster pacing to top and I don't have to worry about being invaded. By avoiding making concrete plans and instead just taking things one step at a time to consider all possibilities, you are much less prone to tilting since you won't have such a set expectation for your game. All we said at the start was essentially to start red and just see what happens next. In this game, Rengar stuck to his plan regardless of any info that indicated that it might be bad, when he definitely needed to adapt. After seeing Udyr show on the map here, he still felt the need to commit to finishing his plan and gank top anyways. Let's just look at the factors that make this really hard. Top lane took insanely hard trades early on, so he's essentially a non-factor when it comes to fighting top side. Additionally, the wave is building and about to crash, so if Rengar wanted to gank here, he needed to be top right now. There's no time to stall with Gromp. Additionally, Udyr showing on the map gives us some info that we can use. We know fighting an Udyr is going to be hard in a 1v1, so staying topside to match him really isn't much of an option. We also know that he's starting red right as we start Gromp, so we'll probably be top at close to the same time if we still choose to gank. In game, Rengar got frustrated that the variables weren't aligning for his play, and then tried to do it anyways. He felt like he didn't have another option. Avoiding tilt will stop bad decisions like this from being made, and let you make the best out of a bad situation. If we were more prepared to adjust to the situation, we could have just countered the dive or decided to path back down to avoid the Udyr if Trin looked like he would survive. We had plenty of other options, but clouded judgment often makes us stick to the plays we expect to work, even if all signs point to different things. Finally, we had to touch on influence from your teammates such as pings and typing in chat. While they can be useful, oftentimes they're not, and just serve as a distraction from making our own good decisions. Again, treat pings as showing intent, not what's actually going to happen. Your teammate may ping that they want to go in, but something happens that changes that. It's still on you, as the better player, to read the situation. You can see just as much as they can. If they aren't posturing to go in, don't act as if they will. It's really on us as players to accept as much responsibility as possible. If communication breaks down and something catastrophic happens, put the blame on the fact that you misread the situation, not on your teammates. They may have made a bad play, but there's no use in clinging on to the idea you had in your head and making a bad situation worse. Always remember, play the game you're playing, not the game you wish you were. Look for a way to improve your game state from where it is. Don't linger on the idea that you could be doing better as a team and your bot lane shouldn't be inting or whatever. It is what it is, and all you can do is try to win from the place that you're at. As far as flame goes, just mute. Nothing anyone will say in that tilted state is going to be useful to winning the game. If there's only one person with clouded judgment, don't make it two. You don't have to become a Buddhist monk to win games, but it definitely helps to put things in perspective and just focus on your own improvement. It's something we've all heard a thousand times, but putting it into practice is clearly much more difficult than saying it. We're not perfect, as no one is, and you will get frustrated sometimes. It's just important to recognize when it happens and do your best to put your emotions aside to make the right decisions. And if you're serious about truly becoming a better jungler and climbing fast, then check out Skillcapped. It's the best place to improve at League of Legends. We have hundreds of guides just like this one, and we upload tons of new videos to our site each week. If you don't climb at least five divisions while actively using Skillcapped, you can claim a full refund, so there's no risk. That's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. We offer this because our service really does work, and if it doesn't, you shouldn't pay for it. Thanks for watching.